Sally. So we're teaching Stan, but right now you can see anxiety manifesting in him. We have a neighbor doing some sort of activity outside and that's causing anxiety in him. So what can I do? I could either force teaching to stand or I could really work on this anxious behavior and I'm gonna reward any engagement with me so that way he can realize whatever is going on there, buddy, is really not a threat. So you can see his body language, his ears, you can see his lip and how concerned and he's paying me no attention. So I'm not gonna force training. Instead, I'm gonna wait for him, weigh him out and I'm gonna reward when he makes some eye contact with me to confide in me as a leader. So with the, the down, you don't want to call getting off people down because guess what else is down? Laying down, lay, right? So. What we want to do is call it off, but before we even name it, what you're going to do is I'll walk up to her and when she decides to get off of me, what do you use? Yes, yes. I'll reward her decision to come off of me. And then when she does that so well, I'll wait for her to the second when her paw hits the ground. Yes, I'll reward that. Even better if the guest or the person does it. One of the best ways to define the heel position is to use a wall right? Use the wall to limit the options and possibilities of your dog failing. We set dogs up for success around here. Rudolph, heel. There's no possibility of him veering off to the left. He's paying attention. Good. What I'm going to do is stop and see if he's checking in with me when I stop. Good. And his head is up, paying attention because attention pays. Good. 